Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. First week in December. And happy birthdays for all Sagittarius who do celebrate. And of course, that's including myself. Let's hear Sag. What are those energies that we need to hear for this particular week? As you always know, if you are coming in too for this reading or any reading on the channel, inclined by the title or just feel very, very strongly pulled into, you do have a message. And many, many times the readings could be great, uplifting, and sometimes might be certain messages that might not be so uplifting, so wow, but those messages are need to be heard. And some of you might feel, well, why I need to hear this? Because, you know, sometimes the truth might hurt, but can put you on the right path. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. Let's see what we have for you for the first week in your season. All right, loves. Underneath, we have the High Priestess. There's a week where you need to pay attention to your intuition most and foremost. There's a week when you kind of like, I knew this or I know this. You might say a couple times regards it. And this is something quite beautiful. For some of you, you might have an awesome week. There is a wish fulfillment here. And for others of you, seems that the balance is restoring into your life. Especially for the Sag who, who struggled or who felt not quite themselves. Look at you. For some of you, you have an idea that you want to pursue. For others of you, there is a conversation with someone that is quite uplifting. So there is some type of communication. As well, this week, we do have at the end the full moon in Gemini, which is the opposite zodiac of yours. But speaking of the Gemini energy is that that choices we needed to make at the right time for the right reason. And for some of you, yeah, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is in your zodiac sign right now. And actually four, four planets are into your zodiac sign and including the sun. So it's quite a, a good energy. As you know, four, it's all about stability. Look at this hermit. Hermit as your mid card, page of swords, eight of wands. Somebody here might want to talk to you or might look forward talking to you. Eight of pentacles and the higher fan. Look at you, loves. So for some of you, that's you. Could be connected with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As we have the Libra, we have also Virgo energy here, Taurus energy, Piscean, Cancerian. Could be another fire. But we have two pages. And I feel here for some of you, someone here is keeping an eye on you or looks how they can contact you, how they can come forward. And Eight of Wands very strongly speaks of news are coming if you are the one who were looking for certain news certain things out there some kind of communication that's coming in and for those of you who've been looking for quite a while for movement in life now you know but also for the sage who kind of like cut off communication with someone or plain and simple sometimes we're not cutting communication with people but it's just fading away certain connection. We're not communicating with them anymore. So I feel here there is a specific energy that looks out to communicate with some Sagis. Having the High Priestess Hermit in here and the Page of Swords is kind of whomever is this person, you know them, one thing, 
another thing here it's like they looking after they looking forward and let's clarify this page of swords four of swords they've been thinking for quite a while probably what to say how to say how to do seven of swords it's kind of they are the one who got away seven of pentacles yes it's quite a while and the wheel of fortune so after a long time somebody here might come around to you loves no it's not mercury retrograde but mercury is in your zodiac sign for some of you is that it's it's your energy with the wheel of fortune which very strongly speaks of the long wait or after a long wait things starts to move forward for you the hermit energy chariot so you if if you are not waiting for someone or you are not really up to any communication with anyone it seems here the sad i'm speaking here after a very long time something here starts to move look at this wheel of fortune and the chariot and yes jupiter also is in your zodiac sign so as right now till cancerian full moon which cancerian full moon is in january so from now till january even though it's a weekly energy from now till january you have a lot of movement whatever that movement speaks to you in your relationships in your career in your balance and stability in your work because look at this eights here are probably the the best eights to have for you or for anyone but indeed here for some of you, you might deal here with a person who's keeping an eye on you i feel here they are coming forward they could live at the distance they're coming forward they want to talk to you what the hierophant here brings to you magician it's like if you want a, some kind of stability it's kind of that manifestation comes through so as i will always say don't ever forget to manifest things full moon new moon as i am recording actually this reading on the new moon in new zodiac sign as i feel very very strongly pulled to do this readings right before the holidays but i'm here so what you asked the universe gives you and I feel here very, very strong with this is, it's kind of you hold the key in your hands. You ask for balance in your life, took quite a while, that's coming. You ask for a person, could be a past person, could be someone new who are looking for someone in their life, that's coming. If you really were looking how I can move, you know, in my career or how can I advance in my career it's like all this time you knew that there will be movement the fact is you didn't know when so that movement happens now the wait is over so yeah for many many sages one thing you could experience starting this week a big burst in your career number two for those of you who really were looking to purchase something, this week might be your week. If you've been looking since September or since August for, for a car, for a home, for a place to live and things like that, this week is probably the best week to go get it. For those of you who were looking for advancement in your career, number three, that's the week when things starts to take contour. Now this week is feeling like things going with the flow and a little faster. So good energy loves. Very, very good energy. The eight of wands here. We have the emperor. Look at this loves. Look at this. Goodness. How many major arcanas we have here? Two, four, five, six, seven, 
eight major arcanas. And the number eight always sends me to the infinite sign. The number eight also speaks of work, career, money, very, very strongly. So for those of you who work on an idea and want to develop that idea, this is the best way to go after. And it's kind of like pursue it forward. Okay. Let's see. The best advice we have for my Sagis. Whatever you experience this week with the Wheel of Fortune, know that is destined to you, loves. The best advice for my Sagittarians this week in particular. Ace of Pentacles. So it's it's that that's that beginning is like getting the start point of something new when you probably almost give up. And also the six of swords here with the movement, like mentally you just felt like, well, I need to move on, I need to go. But the ace of pentacles very strong speaks you got this, you got this opportunity. And whatever it is, there's always help. Six of Wands. And the Star. Look at this, the Major and Minor Arcana. You got it right, loves. It's kind of, you got a strike, what I'm hearing. You are moving into the right direction. You are moving towards a wish. Whatever here you wanted, Spirit says, you are going to prosper. You are going to grow. And there's no time for you to give up, loves. Time to celebrate. Time to celebrate, loves. Whatever here you felt it's gone to leave behind. Queen of Cups and Strength. So look at this Six of Wands with the Six of, with the Strength, the Major and Minor Arcana. You got this. You got this, loves. Celebrate this comforting energy and with a Queen of Cups putting behind this Five of Pentacles, it's like you might feel quite emotional. And you might feel emotional not because you... you are kind of got everything, but you might feel like, goodness, I needed to go through so many things, so many, you know, failures, let's call that. But I, I become better, stronger. And now I know that I never need to give up. For some of you, there is a, a very long journey you've been into. And now is the time of peak or the time of you now are into the right thing, the right path. Let's see here, the protection from Archangel's cards. What do we got for you, Sag? Overcoming difficulties. Look at this, loves. That's the, the, the energy of being a little emotional. Because look at this, loves. Archangel Jeremiel, the words is now behind you. And you are surmounting any previous challenges. So definitely here you've gone through some kind of major things. And leadership, Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay, loves. Movement. Quite a lot. So whatever challenges you've gone through, look at this. 
for for those Sages who had a job, you might be the head of your crew now because the Emperor or Magician, this is a boss. There's somebody here who gone up front. That's very, very much why I see that. And yes, for, for some of you, could be a person who wants to come around, but it's more likely you are in the driver's seat not them. So do it in a mindful way. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for this coming week. If you really enjoy it, let us know. And of course, you know what to do. Namaste.